Hey boys, it's Harm None. Today we're going to be going over what you should buy and what you should avoid this week in Grand Theft Auto Online. Now I know this video is a few days late. I was away if you didn't know, so that's why we're doing it now. Um, there were quite a lot of you guys who still wanted to see this video. I did a poll on my community posts just to try to get an idea of whether I should do this or not. And it was a pretty overwhelming yes. So here we are. So with this update week, there was a few new things added. The Brioso 300 wide body is of course available on Benny's as you guys can see. Now this thing is gonna cost you 457 grand to actually buy the initial Brioso 300. Then it's gonna cost you another, I believe is 585 grand to make it into the wide body. So we're looking at over a million dollars for this thing. Now I've done a customization, I've done a review on this car. It completely sucks in my opinion. It's, it's really not a good vehicle. Um, I would suggest not buying it. However, if you really like it, if you think it's sick, then to each their own. But in my opinion, I'd probably advise you to not buy this thing. I don't think it's worth the price. Um, I don't think it's going to be a key car to own in the uh, in the compacts category. So I'd just say to avoid it altogether. Now, if you're trying to make some money this week, um, there are a couple things that, that you can do. Uh, the first thing is, of course, we have the E. Cola versus Sprunk thing this week. So if you haven't heard about that, basically, as long as you log into GTA Online this week, and as long as you, well, you, that's actually all you have to do. You just have to log in. But just to be sure, if you have a Sprunk um, or an E. Cola in your interaction menu, you can, of course, just drink it. Doing this will definitely enter you into this thing. And uh, I think it's on September 14th, I believe it is. We're all going to get 300 grand for just logging into GTA this week. So, or sorry, for this three week period until September 14th, I believe it is. So, Make sure you log into GTA. If you have a Sprunk or an E. Cola to drink, then I'd say drink it, but you don't even have to do that. So there you have it. Now, if you want to make some other money this week, we have quad money on Lamar missions. Um, so these, I mean, even on four times money, I still don't think they're going to pay that well, but they're pretty easy. And on four times money in RP, you kind of can't really go wrong. If you're a low level, this is what I would suggest doing this week. Um, it's kind of the best way to earn money, in my opinion at least. Um, I, I think this is a pretty good way to earn some money this week. Of course, we also have triple money and RP on hot ring circuit races this week as well. So if you want to earn some money and have a little more fun, maybe I'd say I'd suggest doing some hot ring circuit stuff. Um, these are generally pretty fun. The hot ring cars are kind of cool. And the hot ring car is also free this week. So if you haven't got a hot ring car, you should pick one up. It's free. Might as well get one. Now, if either of those two ways to earn money are not your style, we do have triple money and RP on stockpile, the adversary mode. So you can earn some money with this. I'll be honest, I've literally never played this before, so I really don't know how it works. But I'm sure it's probably a pretty good time. And on triple money and RP, it probably should be a good time. So I'd suggest probably doing this. I think the best way to earn money, though, if you're a low level or if you're just trying to earn money, I mean, just run your businesses and whatnot. But those Lamar missions on quad money and quad RP. Um, I, I don't think you can go wrong with those. So definitely give all of these a shot, I would say. Now it's time to talk about vehicle discounts. The first thing that we're going to be going over is the Declassy DR1 and the Progen PR4 are both 40% off this week, which is a pretty huge discount on these vehicles. 40% uh, is that's that's pretty damn good. Um, the PR4 I've heard is the best open wheel car in the entire game um, as far as just overall performance capability. The DR1 is not bad, that's for sure. The BR8, in my opinion, is still the best, but the PR4, I have heard, is really, really good. Um, the DR1, if you just want to get into doing open wheel, I mean, it's $1.8 million, so it's a pretty it's a pretty cheap entry into it. So if you want to get into it, I mean, I'd suggest probably picking up the DR1. But for an extra 400k, the PR4, I mean, actually more like 300k, uh, the PR4 is, you know, it, it is a lot better from what I do here. So if you're interested in getting into open wheel, uh, the PR4, definitely something I would recommend picking up this week. Now, if you're looking for a four-door vehicle this week, the Ocelot Jugular is on sale for 30% off. Um, obviously, a pretty good discount. The Ocelot Jugular, I do believe, is the fastest four-door vehicle in all of Grand Theft Auto Online. Um, in terms of overall, you know, performance capability on a track. Um, the Jugular absolutely shreds. It's an awesome car. It sounds amazing. It's got a lot of customization. Really good four-door vehicle. Um, you really cannot go wrong with the Jugular. This is a car that I definitely would recommend picking up. In addition to this, we also have the Benefactor XLS on sale for 50% off this week. Uh, the XLS is a really great car. It's super underrated. If you're into SUVs, 
This is one that you should probably pick up. It doesn't have any customization really, I don't think, but it is a really good car. It's really unique. You never see anybody driving them. It also has an armored variant as well that you can get if you're interested. Um, it still is gonna cost you the regular price, which is 522 grand. This thing can only take two missiles, so it's not super worth picking up, at least right now, I'd say. I'd say just get the regular version. I mean, it's 126 grand, like it's pretty much free. And uh, it's a really good SUV. I, I really like this thing. Me and uh, me and a couple of my friends have got these. And uh, they're, they're just, it's a solid SUV. So, you know, don't be afraid to pick it up. We also have the Vapid Hustler on sale this week. I'm going to be honest, I don't really know a whole lot about this car. I'm going to go ahead and say probably avoid it because I just don't think it could, could really be that good. You know what I mean? Um, it is on sale for 40% off. So it is a pretty good discount. If you're interested in this thing, if you've been looking at it, then, I mean, obviously feel free to purchase it, but uh, I don't think it's probably going to be, you know, a car that is going to be kind of a game changer or anything that sort of special. So I'd say probably avoid it, but if you're really interested, I mean, it is on sale. So not bad. Of course, we also have the Anis RE7B on sale this week, which is pretty good. This car used to be the fastest supercar in the game as far as racing went. Um, it's, it's really good. It's, it's a very good car, handles nicely, it is really fast, it has a tiny bit of customization. It does tend to spin out in uh, low speed corners sort of, but at high speed the RE7B has crazy good downforce and it's a really good race car. So don't be afraid to pick this thing up. Um, is it going to win you any races right now? Probably not. Uh, you'd be pretty hard pressed to win with the RE7B these days. There are a lot of really fast cars in the game now, but nonetheless it is still a really cool looking race car. So don't be afraid to pick this thing up either. We have the Vapid Chino on sale this week as well. This thing is 50% off, so it's going for $112,500. Um, not a super fan of this car. Um, I'm sure it's very good, but it's kind of just a land yacht and I don't really have much to say about it. I think you can turn it into a low rider if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so that is kind of cool. So if you're into Benny's cars, you can get, you know, an upgradable Benny's car for, for fairly cheap. So kind of a cool car. Don't know that I recommend it, but it is there. And last but not least, we have the Pegasi Vaca for 50% off. Uh, this vehicle is not super duper good, um, but it's okay. I mean, it, it's the Vaca. It is in the supercars category. It's one of the slowest supercars in the entire game. Uh, it looks great though, um, and it has, you know, it has like decent free mode performance. It's not great. Um, it's not terrible either though. I don't know that I'd recommend it, but for 120k, you can't really go wrong with it, I'd say. Um, so don't be afraid to pick up the Vaca either. Now, another discount that we have this week is we have 40% off of nightclubs. So if you don't have a nightclub, guys, now is the time to get one. 40% uh, off plus renovations. So any renovations that you can do to the nightclub, if you want to add more basement levels, stuff like that, you can do that all for 40% off. So you can save a lot of money right now with the nightclub. Uh, so definitely pick one of these up. Like don't even hesitate. If you don't have a nightclub, get one right now. It is super, super worth it to have. If you don't know about the nightclub basement, you can use it to make a ton of money once you have some other businesses, like some MC businesses, the bunker, stuff like that, CEO cargo, all of that sort of stuff. Once you have those things, the nightclub can make you a ton of money. It's actually one of the most lucrative businesses in the entire game. I think it is kind of the best business in the entire game, if I'm being honest. At least in my opinion, um, there's going to be some people that are going to disagree with that, but it really is something special. So pick up a nightclub if you don't have one. That thing is going to make you a ton of money. It is such a good business to have. And before I forget to mention, again, the Declassy Hot Ring Saber is free this week. So pick one of these things up if you don't have one. The Hot Ring Saber, it's a really, really decent car, especially for free. You really cannot go wrong with having one of these. So definitely pick this thing up. At Simeon's dealership, we have the Dominator ASP available to be purchased. Um, it's a great car. It's one of the fastest muscle cars in the game. I definitely would say I recommend picking this thing up for sure. We also have the Benefactor Schwarzer within Simeon's dealership. So pretty good car. Definitely would say get that. The Jugular is also in here as well. In addition to that, we also have the Lampadaddy Michelli GT. Uh, this is actually a pretty decent car. I customized this a little while ago and it's actually really, really nice. And of course, last but not least, we have literally the best muscle car in the game, which is of course the Bravado Buffalo STX. This thing is something you should definitely pick up. 
The STX is, it's just a wonderful car overall. Something that I definitely would say I recommend. And at the Luxury Motors dealership, we have the brand new Lampadati Corsita. And of course, we also have the Benefactor LM87 available to be purchased as well. Within the Casino, the podium vehicle is of course the Enos Paragon R. This thing is an absolutely awesome vehicle. You should 100% try to win this thing. It is an absolutely awesome vehicle. If you have to do the glitch to try to get this, I would say go for it. This car is really, really, really good. Definitely pick this thing up. Within the LS car meet, the prize ride this week is of course the BF Club. Now this is quite literally the fastest compact car in the entire game, and it's definitely one that you should try to win. In order to win this thing, you're gonna have to place top four for four days in a row. So starting today, you have to place top four in races every single day until the new weekly update comes out in order to win this thing. The BF Club is an absolutely awesome vehicle. I cannot talk about this thing enough. It is super, super good. The test track vehicles this week are of course the Grotti Bestia GTS. We have the Anis RE7B. So if you guys are planning on purchasing that, you can of course test it in the LS car mate. And of course, I do believe this is the Vapid Hustler as well. So if you're interested in buying it, you can also test it in here. Right before I end the video as well, we do have double research from the new bunker research mission as well. So if you want to speed up your research, I guess you can do that by doing the research mission, which I honestly have no idea how to do that, but I guess if you know how. Anyway, guys, there you have it. That is what you should buy this week and what you should avoid in Grand Theft Auto Online. I hope that you guys still found this video useful, even though it is a few days late. I do apologize for that. That is my bad. I was away again next week or this week, I guess. I will be doing this on the day that the weekly update comes out so you can rest assured that you know you'll have a video about this as soon as the weekly updates out so anyway guys if you enjoyed this video if you learned something a like is of course appreciated if not dislike subscribe if you guys are new and i will see you all in the next video until then take care peace